So let's do a little bit of review of blood typing and how it works. Recall that potentially on an individual's red blood cells, you would find a molecule sticking out of the membrane. And that molecule for now is an antigen. An antigen, to loosely define it, is anything that can stimulate an immune response. So here's how blood typing works. If someone's blood type has an A, that means that on the surface of their cell membranes, you would find antigen A. So again, if your blood type A, you have antigen A. If your blood type B, you have antigen B on your cells. If you are blood type AB, you have both antigen A and antigen B on the surface of your cells. If you're blood type O, you have neither antigen on your cells. In fact, if you're blood type O, there's no A, there's no B. Well, in addition to the A's and the B's, there's something called RH factor. RH is another antigen, and it's inherited independently of everybody else, and the A's and the B's are even inherited independently of each other. So the way we know if someone has an RH antigen or not is whether you see a plus or a minus in their blood type. So someone who's got a plus has RH antigen on their cells. Someone who has a negative has no RH antigen on their cells. So again, in this case, antigens serve as an identifier. It lets our immune system know what belongs. So let's take me, for example. I'm an A positive blood type. So I am A positive. So that means I have antigen A. I also have RH antigen. So what's normal and what should be in me are A's and RH's. Nothing else should be in me. Because anything else that you put in me, do, I don't already have, and that's going to be considered foreign. And our immune system takes anything that it considers foreign and makes an antibody against it. An antibody is a special protein meant to stick to that antigen so I can get it out of the body. So how does this pertain to blood typing? Well, someone whose blood type A, remember, has antigen A. They do not have antigen B, right? So B would be considered something foreign in them. So they have the ability to make antibodies against B. So the general rule with the antibody is you make antibodies against the antigen you do not have. Remember, the antigen I don't have already in me is considered foreign. It doesn't belong in me. So I'm going to make antibodies to destroy it. Well, how does that come to pass in blood typing? If I'm blood type A positive, so I have A and RH, and you give me anything with a B in it, my immune system is going to consider that be foreign and attack it. In the world of erythrocytes, if an antibody sticks to that B antigen, realize that my antibody would stick to the B antigen on that B red blood cell, and I would lyse the cell. So that transfusion that you just gave me wouldn't work. So to recap on this one, your blood type reflects the antigens you have. Anything you don't have is considered foreign. You make antibodies against it. So let's go through the chart for antibodies now. Anyone whose blood type A will make antibodies against B because they don't have it. Anyone whose blood type B makes antibodies 
against A. Now, a blood type AB, remember we said if you're AB, you have both antigens, which means you don't make either antibody, right? If you have the antigen, that's considered normal. And you're not going to attack something that's normal. Someone whose blood type O ha doesn't have any antigen. Therefore, A or B are both considered foreign, and they'll make antibodies against both of them. The same rule holds true for the RH. If your blood type is positive, you have RH antigen. You're not going to make the antibodies against it. If you're RH negative, you do not have the antigen, which means you don't own it. So if it ever entered, it would be considered foreign. You will make antibodies against it. So if that wasn't, didn't click the first time, you want to sit with that chart and reason your way all the way through until you can get the hang of it. But as far as this part is concerned, the type of blood you have tells you which antigens you possess, you own. Any antigen you do not own is considered foreign and you'll make antibodies against it. When it comes to blood compatibility and blood typing, what you're trying to do is match the antigen to the person's blood type. So for example, if I'm A positive, if you want to give me blood, one of the types you could give me is A positive because you're already giving me antigens I already own and my body thinks that's normal. But if you gave me anything with a B in it, my body sees the B as foreign and attacks it. So again, what we're trying to do with blood compatibility is give appropriate antigens. So here's a couple of rules. I'm going to add a third. When you're determining compatibility and who you could donate to or receive from, you can always match the blood type. Does that make sense? If I'm A positive, I can always receive A positive. I can always donate to A positive because it's all matching. So you can always get blood from, receive, or give blood to, donate that which matches. But we can also have rules for compatibility. All right, so let's take me. I'm A positive. So that means I have A antigen. I have RH antigen. So if you were to give me blood, you have to give me something that matches. You could never give me anything with a B in it, because no matter what, that B's foreign. You could also give me A negative blood. Why? Well, I already own RH antigen. A negative blood is lacking the antigen. So it doesn't matter if it's not there, I already own it. You're not giving me something I don't already have. So my body doesn't attack a negative blood because it says, ah, A matches, no RH, that's okay, I already own RH. So you can always give negative to a positive person. It does not go the other way around. So let's look at that. If someone were a negative, well, we could give them the A, that's not a problem. We can give them the match, so we can give them a negative. But they do not, that's a wonky arrow, they do not have RH antigen, which means if I give them the antigen in a positive blood, their bodies will consider it foreign. Their bodies will say that positive, that RH does not belong in me, and it will attack it. So again, when you're determining blood type compatibilities, you're looking at antigens specifically and seeing if it matches, or in this case, if it's at least compatible. So I'm going to ask you, pose one more question. If I'm A positive, and already we know you can give me A positive, you can give me A negative, because 
you can a positive can get a negative. Can you give me O positive? And for that matter, if you could, can you give me O negative? The answer is yes, but I want you to try and reason out why. If you can't figure out why, send me an email or ask me in class and I'll be happy to explain it to you. So here are some of our rules. You have antibodies against the antigens you do not have. A positive can receive a negative, but a negative can never receive a positive. And the third one you could write in is that you're trying to match or give compatible antigens. You should also be able to reason out and understand this. There's one blood type considered the universal donor. It's O negative. And we would ask you why. So well, look at O negative blood. It does not have A antigen. It does not have B antigen. It does not have RH antigen. O negative blood doesn't have a single antigen on it. Therefore, everybody can receive O negative blood because there's nothing there to react to. Remember, an antigen is something that if your body says, hey, that doesn't belong to me, it will attack it. But your body can only say, hey, that doesn't belong in me, if there's an antigen there. It's reading antigens. O negative blood has zero antigens on it, so there's nothing there to read. It's like generic, so there's nothing to attack. So O negs consider the universal donor because every blood type can receive O negative blood. There's no antigens to react against. It doesn't work the other way around. Individuals who are O negative can only ever receive O negative because remember an O negative has no antigens on it. And if you give them anything other than O neg blood, you're giving them an antigen, you're giving their white blood cells something to read, and they're not going to like what they read. If we go the extreme opposite over here, we got AB positive. AB positive is considered the universal recipient. They have A antigen. They have B antigen. They have RH antigen. They own every single antigen. So there isn't a single blood type you give them that you're not already giving them something they don't already have. So AB positive individuals are lucky. They can receive every single blood type because they already own everything. There's no blood type that's going to be considered foreign to them. So why do we care about compatibility and combinations? Well, in the world of transfusions, if you give someone an incompatible blood type, in other words, you give them antigens that don't match or antigens that are not compatible, they will have a transfusion reaction. Their white blood cells will see that foreign antigen that they don't already have and say, that thing does not belong to me. They will make the antibodies against it. The antibodies will stick to those donated cells and lyse them. That's bad. Remember, if you're giving me a transfusion, there's a reason for it. I need that blood. And so if that transfusion doesn't work the first time around, I'm certainly not going to get better. I'm going to get sicker. And if you mess up a second or a third time, quite possibly, you could end up killing me. The other reason why it comes to pass <clears throat> is something called hemolytic disease of the newborn. This affects um, pregnant moms who are Rh negative. If their babies are Rh positive, you know, mom's blood and baby's blood don't mix, but they come very, very close to each other. In the placenta, there are only two simple squamous epithelial layers away from each other. So very, very close. And remember, white blood cells can escape and travel through. So a mom, a Rh negative mom's white blood cells will ultimately come close enough to the baby's Rh positive blood where it will think, the mom's body will, will kind of think that the baby's Rh blood doesn't belong. It sees that Rh antigen, 
says, I don't own that antigen, I'm going to attack it. So there's a worry here. And quite honestly, in the third trimester, if not treated, the baby will often die in the womb. So mom's given an injection called Rogam, which kind of makes mom artificially RH positive. It doesn't genetically alter anything, but functionally, it makes her blood positive just long enough to ignore the baby. And then the effect wears off after baby's born. All right, let's see if we can work out an example. Miss Smith is blood type A positive, so I guess I'm Miss Smith. <laughs> Who can she donate to? Who can she receive from? So she's A positive, right? So let's figure out what antigen she has. She has antigen A. She has a RH antigen. So who can she donate to? Well, you can always donate to what matches. Can an A positive give to anything that's an O? The answer is no. If A positive blood goes to an O, the O will go, hey, wait a minute, A antigen is foreign, and attack it. Can A positive be given to A negative? No, because A negative would see the RH antigen and go, hey, wait a minute, I don't have that. RH antigen is foreign to me, and attack it. Can A positive give to AB positive? think it through. The A matches, the positive matches. Someone who's AB positive is going to go, ah, A antigen belongs in me. Ah, RH antigen also belongs in me. It's not going to worry that the B's not there. It just knows that the antigens coming in match. So that's an acceptable and compatible donation. But the AB negative would not work. So an A positive person such as me can give to A positive. I can give to AB positive, but that's it. Who can I receive from? Well, I can always receive from that which matches, and I can always receive of O negative because everybody can. So right off the bat, you can figure out two blood types that someone can receive from. They can receive their match, they can receive O negative because everybody can. Remember, O negative has no antigens on it. There's nothing for my white blood cells to read. Now, can A positive give to anything with a, oh, I did the other way. Can A, po a positive receive a negative? Absolutely. A positive can always receive a negative. Remember, I already have RH antigen. If you give me something that doesn't have the RH, it's okay. There's, n I'm not going to see an antigen I don't already have. So see how we're trying to match or give compatible type blood, um, R antigen types. All right. So an A positive can receive A positive, can receive a O negative, can receive A negative. Can an A positive ever be given anything with a B? No. Remember, A positive blood does not have B antigen. If you give them B antigen, their leukocytes will recognize it as foreign and attack it. Let's look at Mr. Jones, who is AB negative. I don't know who that is. All right, who could they donate to? I promise to put my arrows in the right direction. They can always donate to that which matches. Can they donate to AB positive? Sure. Remember, a positive can get negative blood, so they can donate to AB positive. They can't donate to O. They can't donate to anything that's just A. They can't donate to anything that's just B. So only AB neg and AB positive can get Mr. Jones' blood. But who can Mr. Jones get blood from? Here's my arrow. <clears throat> well, you can always receive from that which matches. You can always receive from O negative because everybody can. Can Mr. Jones receive anything that's positive? No. 
Remember, he lacks Rh. If you give him Rh antigen, that will be recognized as foreign. Could Mr. Jones be given a negative blood? Sure, he already has a antigen, and the negative works, so that's compatible. Could he be given B negative blood? Sure, he already has B, and the negative's compatible. But that's pretty much it, because he could never get anything with positives. Last one, baby Mary's O positive. Who can she donate to? Well, she can donate to O positive. She can't donate to anybody with a negative. Can she donate or to a B positive? Absolutely, the RH matches up. Um, and the, she doesn't have A, she doesn't have B, so there's nothing there for an AB to react against. They already own both. O positive can donate to A positive. O positive could donate to B positive. So lots of options on that one. But who could baby Mary receive from? She can always receive from O positive because it matches. She can always receive from O negative because everybody can. Can she receive anything with an A? No. Can she receive anything with a B? No. Could she receive A, B? No. Okay? So again, when you're doing compatibility, you're looking at antigens and either matching it or making sure it's compatible. In the letters, you have to at least match one. With RH, a positive can receive a negative, but a negative can never receive a positive. So you want to go play that Nobel Prize blood typing game. You want to do practice tests on Blackboard, on my website, on Professor Hubley's website, on Professor Imholtz's website, any other practice you can get your hands on. The more practice you do with blood typing, the more comfortable you'll become.